Alex is live in the Capitol, and I am in our our office. I was going to head down to the Capitol this morning with Alex. And, guys, we have some very bad news to give you. It's an absolute story of betrayal, but it's not a done deal. And now it's time for you guys to jump involved in this fight and make your voice heard very quickly. Alex, you're in the Capitol right now. We're going to wait for a moment until I see the notification that this uh, video has gone out and has gone live. And once we have that, we're going to kick off this video uh right here right now um i see our crowd begin to build <clears throat> guys come on in you're gonna want to hear this video this is not good we need you guys to be in this video to take action right away um again we at today at 1 30 we were supposed to have a full committee hearing on the second amendment preservation act hb 293 we were all going to be there in force alex is there right now i was heading down there later on and guys we just got word in the last few minutes that's not going to happen alex you're there you're on site right now what's going on guys i got down here this morning i was had i had some other meetings i was getting ready for the committee hearing i was trying to talk to committee members just let them know how thankful we were Tell them, you know, what what was in the bill, what we're doing, what we're trying to do, how we're trying to protect Georgians from becoming felons at the hands of Joe Biden. Say again, Aaron. What happened? What's going on? So, guys, 293 is off the schedule. It's gone. It's disappeared. It was erased. Not only is it off this today's schedule, but I've seen this schedule for the entire week so far. And there is there is no 293. They are not having a hearing on the Second Amendment Preservation Act after we were promised two weeks ago. All right, let's get right to the point here, folks. We know who's doing this, and we're going yes. to give you some names right now. This is not happening by accident. It's not happening because the committee members don't want to take up the bill. This, as far as we know, and from all the sources that we have, is being on, is on orders of Majority Leader Chuck Epstration. Chuck Epstration. Burn that name into your brain. Chuck Epstration, who is the House Majority Leader, is the one, we are being told, who has ordered this bill removed from committee today. And whatever else you do, I've posted his office number right there in the comments section. Give his office a call immediately, and you demand that this arrogant twerp put hb 293 back on the agenda and onto the floor for a full vote immediately some of you might be asking yourselves is this the same chuck abstration that i've heard about from ggo yeah. before and you would be correct because it was just two short years ago that chuck abstration was telling the savannah news that he would support legislation to gut and repeal georgia's stand your ground law ggo nation whipped his when he did that and he doesn't like us very much threatens with a libel lawsuit all kinds yep. of stuff guys it's the same chuck abstration only now he's the house majority leader alex we have heard so many people tell us this over the last couple of hours and you had a chance to go and ask mr abstration to his face if this is what happened how did that conversation go well chuck apparently can't have a public speaking engagement without having all the questions known ahead of time because when I asked him, Chuck, what are you doing? I am one of your constituents. I will be a felon if we don't pass SAPA. What's going on? He's like, oh, that's not my call. That's not my call. I don't tell chairman what to do. That's bull crap. That's exactly what the, the, the majority leader does. The majority leader directs the entire path for a bill. That's their job. And so he deflects, he deflects, he deflects, says, I don't know what you're talking about. But we actually... We actually know that he's trying to enter fake SAPA. Well, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Before, before, before we even get to that, the dude ran out of the building. That's oh, just, you, the you, buried the, you buried the lead. I mean, Chuck Gabstration, so when you were asking him what the hell is going on, Chuck left the building Chuck. and went through a key card access door only. You could not follow him through trying to get away from the heat of GGO Nation, guys. This there is Chuck Gabstration right here. This is the guy who is doing this to you right now in real time. Chuck Gabstration needs to hear from you immediately. We have his number right there in the comment section, and you have got to give him a call today and tell him you want this bill on the floor. The hell with committee. We're beyond committee. Now we, now we want this bill on the floor immediately. 
We yep. want you to do your job, Chuck. Get it through committee and on the floor right away, or Georgia is going to hold you personally accountable for what you're doing here. Now, Alex, you are about to get off into a different section. And we have heard a lot of rumblings over the last 72 hours. And we have actually we have confirmation now of this yes. that Chuck is not a complete idiot. I mean, despite this, um, despite this face that God gave him, he's not a complete idiot. And I think he understands that when Biden's pistol brace issue becomes effective in May, that some Georgians will be facing felony charges, and he's concerned about that. And so what he's doing right now, while he's trying to tank HB 293, we're being told by numerous sources he's trying to resurrect or invent a fake SAPA bill to file possibly as early as today. Yes. Absolutely. And I think I, we know who the rep is. She is uh, no stalwart for gun rights like uh, Charlize Bird is, that's for sure. But yes, I've seen this bill and, the, and it is the most wishy-washy language I've ever seen. And all it says is you may not, a, a Georgia cop may not be coerced into uh, enforcing federal gun control. What's that? There's no teeth. There, there is no penalties. There is no enforcement mechanism. It's ambiguous. It does nothing. People Guys, you have to understand the only the only people that benefit from fake SAPA is Joe Biden and the radical left and their effort to ban, confiscate and destroy guns by federal gun control laws or executive orders, as we're seeing come May 31st. And so you've got to call Chuck, call him today, call him this afternoon, call him tomorrow and demand that 293 gets all the way to a floor vote with no harmful amendments. Well, the other, there's there's more people that benefit, though, from HB, uh, from, from, from fake SAPA being filed, and that is the politicians here in Atlanta. That's the whole point. Mm -hmm. We have champions for freedom like Senator Colton Moore, like Charlie's Bird in the House, and a bunch of others who are co-sponsoring these bills. But for the rhinos who don't want to deal with this, they are concerned that voting no would harm them politically because, yeah, you damn right it will. It's going to harm yeah. you politically. So they don't want to simply tank HB 293. Their goal is to resurrect this garbage fake SAPA bill, which is designed to make them appear as though they did what you guys, GGO Nation, told them to do, when instead they've done all, all, uh, absolutely nothing. We have not seen the final filed version of Chuck's compromise bill just yet. We know for a fact it will gut the civil penalties. Those will be gone. So if the Atlanta oh. PD... Uh, or the Atlanta mayor says, you know what? Screw you and screw SAPA. We're going to be enforcing Joe Biden's gun control agenda using Georgia cops. You have no recourse. We know that for a fact. We are almost certain this new bill will not uh, preclude the feds from using Georgia cops in a federal gun control task force. And we know how this works. Yep. They come out to they come out to the airport. They fly into town. They grab our troopers, our deputies, some city cops. They get 20 guys in a task force and they go around enforcing federal gun control laws. We would not not be able to stop them if this compromise version passes. And finally, they're going to gut all the teeth out of the, all the the details rather out of the bill that spells out what exactly Georgia cops can and cannot do when it comes to gun control. That section is designed to protect Georgia cops. That section yes. is designed to give a clear red line, say we want you to enforce these state gun laws and not enforce these federal laws. And by removing that, Chuck Epstration will put Georgia cops in the in the limelight where they're trying to decide what are we supposed to do? What's what's legal? What's not? This is all happening uh, if and uh, only if Chuck Epstration can move this bill. So, guys, again, the action item today is very simple. We need you guys to contact Chuck Epstration immediately. We have posted his number above the video. It's in the comment section. And your message, it's just very simple. Chuck, Chuck, if you tank HB 293, all of Georgia will hang this around your head, politically speaking, and hold you accountable. We yes. demand a vote on SAPA on the floor this session. The bill is ready to go. It's got a ton of co-sponsors. Um, the sponsors ready to go on this. We were ready to go on this today, and we expect an answer. We expect a, a vote on this as soon as possible. Larry Edwards says, what is 
Bill HB 293. Larry, go back and watch our last 15 videos. This is our SAPA legislation, and it's a must, must, must have here in Georgia. So get involved, guys. We're going to have more information for you guys today. We're going to have an email out on this topic as fast as we can. For right now, guys, share the video online. Make sure everyone knows why there's no committee hearing today. And for all the tens of thousands of you who have emailed this committee over the last I don't know, 72 hours. Thank you. And for all the yes. politicians who are watching this video right now, you better let that sink real damn deep into your mind because this is not a bill being pushed by two or three people. This bill is being pushed by tens of thousands no. of the ferocious members of Georgia gun owners and GGO nation is relentless. And we will either obtain a victory here or we will know exactly who to hold accountable. So think about that before you decide to glibly shut this bill down and just kind of hope for the best guys. We got to go. Yep. Alex has got to go. We'll keep you guys informed. Watch your email inbox, share our video and join the fight today at joingggo.com.